the house and give a surprise. The chef arrives at home and is accompanied by a camera crew. The chef knocks on the door and explains that they are from What's For Dinner reality TV show. The chef then asks for permission to come into the house and says he's going to attempt to make a gourmet meal using only what staples are in the house at that time. Hey, it's What's For Dinner. Hi, my name's Chris Kytus. We're doing a reality show called What's for Dinner? And you're the lucky person. I can't wait. Can I come in? You may. Thank you. And the dog? That's Who's this? That's Zoe. Hey, Zoe. How are you? All right, Beth. Thank you for having us over. Sure. All right, so can I meet the rest of the family? Sure. Dave, Sam, Aaron. Y'all come here. All right, you show me in. Sure, and this is my kids, Sam and Aaron. Aaron, how are you? This is a famous chef. He's going to cook for us. Uh, thanks for having me this over, Sam. How are Dave. you? Dave, how Hi. are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Sorry. Here, like That's I said, I got a present right. for you. This is going to be Thank so fun. Thank you so much. Carry the All right, kitchen All right. this way. Thank you. Let's just head Talk over to you, here. Please. Thanks. Okay, here's the fridge. All right. So it looks like you're well prepared here. You got some tomatoes. I just went to the store. Yeah, so we take these. It's not always bustling. You got, you got chicken, but what's this? You got... That's some fish. All right, we'll use this. Okay. Great. Yummy. And we got some greens here for yep. garnishing. All right, so we'll put these here. Got some asparagus. Yep. Who I said you weren't asparagus. a gourmet? You're a gourmet cook. I know, maybe. I don't know. All right. Okay. And we got some parsley. Yep. All right, so that's that. Okay. So now let's see what you have. You got butter too. We'll use the butter. Okay. And pantry. Yes. Spices. Yes. Okay, now I'm not really organized. Stuff is go. great okay, stuff. Okay, I love that. And let's see what you got. Some red pepper. All right, this okay. is good here. And the pots and the pans. That. That's good. Okay. Cutting board, please. Cutting board. Okay. All right, we got ingredients, so let's get cooking. Okay. All right. Chef Joe Samara with Taste of This Television here to talk to you about Detecto's Marina Submersible Portion Scale. Now this design and patented incredible scale you can place underwater. As a chef, we're always looking for scales that we can wash easily, but not only that, we want a scale that's accurate, that can give us the right measurement at any time. The Detecto Marina Submersible Portion Scale has got a dual power source, rechargeable battery, it's stainless steel platter. It's submersible underwater and has a large backlit 1.2 and high LCD screen. It's got a 10 pound capacity and weighs in pounds, ounces, and fractional ounces. Cleaning is easy for the Detecto Marina submersible portion scale. Just take the unit, run it underwater, and clean it in a snap. So for more information on this incredible portion scale, Log on to Detecto.com. All right, Beth, do you have any uh, potatoes? Onions? I do. So let's start with that. All right, so what we're going to do is take these potatoes and show you a little trick. Okay, do. And stick these in a the microwave. Okay. For like um, five minutes. Okay. All right, so we'll take those, we'll chop them up once we get them soft in the microwave. All right, so now we're going to start chopping up an onion. Okay. And this is going to be for our sauce. All righty. So easy way to peel an onion, just run a slice down here, one here, and one here. And normally the skin comes off easy, like that. 
This way we're not um, struggling with the onion. It still gives you aggravation. <laughs> All right, so we got that. I just put it in the sink? Sure. And we'll get it later. All right, so onion chopped anyway because it's going to be going into a um, hot sauce pan. We'll grab the pan. And everything goes into the pan. And a little olive oil. Now, when you're doing this, you don't need a whole lot of olive oil. Just to glaze it. And that's sufficient. So let that do its thing there. Okay. We'll take some peppers. Let's grab the center, get rid of this. And we're just going to cut them long ways. I love peppers. Yep, peppers good this time of year. You get the greens, you get the reds, you get the yellows, yeah. the orange, which we have one there. But they all taste the same. You agree or disagree? They do seem to, yes, yeah. except the jalapeno. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell the difference? This one. It's a little sweeter. Or not, the orange is sweeter. They're good. And they're healthy. All right, so just cut these long ways. So we'll use these for presentation. these in here. Don't worry about the hands because these are going to go in some high heat. If you people out there are worried about germs, they'll all be gone. All right, let me just attend to this for a minute. All right, so all we're doing is just browning these. All right. Now, do you have a food processor? I do. So we can just set that up right there. Now I'm going to take these tomatoes and I'm just going to throw them in with the onions. All right, so this way what we'll do is just let that settle there for a while. Okay. Then we'll take this and we'll stick it in the actual blender and we'll puree it. And we have a little parsley here. Take this, just a few loops. You cook like this during the day? Evening? Every day. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you got that figure. You still got your figure. Right. If I may ask you, do you have any chicken broth? I do. Wow, look at that. Well bounced. Hey, I just have to find it. There it is. Thank and I've you. got more if that's not enough. So a little chicken broth. Alright. Alright, so we'll turn these over. I don't know if I got a tree for them. What we're just doing is just getting this all just loosened up is what we're doing for the processor. Now I'm going to throw a little salt. This is right here. That's probably not salt. There's actually a salt, Morton's or a salt shaker. All right, so we'll go easy on the salt. The reason you go easy on it because you can always add it later. You knew that. Sometimes the most simple ingredients are the best. That looks good. Just get a little more heat here. See, I'm used to cooking on high heat all the time. Right. Yeah. Let's get your confidence. 
Yeah. That's the point of if you're eating red sauce and it's repeating on you because of the acidity, you can use carrots. Oh, okay. Carrots will sweeten it up and also take away that acidity. Okay. Do you have any carrots? I don't know. I oh, have yeah. to check. Let's check. <laughs> Sorry to get you off guard. I don't think that's good. Baby carrots? Baby carrots are good. So just a few. And this will take the assist Okay, I love that. Alright, so we'll give that two minutes. Okay. So we'll start preparing the fish. Alright, now we'll start with the fish. So what do you got here? Looks like red grouper. I think that's what it is. Yeah. No smell. Yeah. That's a sign of a good fish. I love fish. I do too. We try to keep it. Thank you. All right, so we have some grouper here. And you got to be careful because there's some bones in it. So just use a blackening. This is like a red fish blackening. You can be generous with it. Now when you do this, you want a real hot pan. So the way I do it is I just usually just put some olive oil on here and just do a rub down. Just like that. Both sides. Do children like fish? They do. You know, you can take this and also put it in food processor and make patties. Oh. Yeah, like crab cake patties. Yeah. Just do a fish patty. Then do you add anything else to it? A little mayo, some Worcestershire sauce, a little horseradish, and a little Dijon. And okay. just get your consistency right. You guys can go online and find out the recipe as well. Right. But just good. to keep it going as far as it is, and you know, once again, a little olive oil, hot pan. Cast iron is what I usually prefer because oh. cast iron to me is an ingredient. Meaning you taste it. Yeah. It's like a seasoning. Right. All right, so this looks like it's almost done. Okay. Beth, do you got a cast iron pan? Because instead of this, we'll use that. You know what I do? Good. This is old. All right, so we'll just put it on here. So this has got to be like 100 years old. Yes. That's an old pan. I wonder if it has any markings on it. You want to sell this? I, it's up to my husband. <laughs> I'll arm wrestle him for it. Yeah. All right, so the proper way of actually cleaning a, a cast iron pan, okay. heat it up, then what we'll do is cool it down and then we'll oil it. Okay. And put it back on. And all this should disappear because all that is is just like surface rust. Okay. All right, so this is ready. And the, uh, the microwave too. Yeah. All right, so you got these potatoes here. Take these out. Hot potato. Zoe. All right, I want to put this in, in a food processor. All right, Beth, you got a spoon? Yes. Thank you. All right, so steady as we go here. Just get everything in here. I make pesto sauce in that, so yeah. it's a smaller, smaller volume. So we'll just do a little out of time. All right, you can whack that if you want. Okay. Very good, thanks. All right, so you come on. Well, we can't use this right away. Let me just grab it on the pan. I'll just use this. And 
the sauce when you pour your like, you know, hot packs. You want to do the rest of that? Sure. Well, this pan looks like it has been used, like you said, in a hundred years. <laughs> I think it was used a lot many years ago. You stopped in the right house, but we are not. I'm learning a lot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Here? Yes, please. All right, now we can just take this and just um, throw a little olive oil on here. And look, the pan will look brand new. Because you know, cast iron has pores, and that's what I'm doing, is just getting it in the pores. So you know when you're done with this, really what you want to do is wipe it down. You don't want to use soap and water on it. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Alright, we'll put this back on here and then good as new. Alright, potatoes. Yeah. We're gonna take this again. All right, we're gonna do potatoes in the pan. All right, but you see how easy these potatoes get yes, now? Yes, they're good too. And also the cooking time is gonna be like less than that. Right. So your kids like french fries? They love french fries. So we're gonna do them long like this. Like wedges. So did I'll, your mom cut? Nope. Well, actually, she used to, but when we got our driver's license, she used to say dinner's ready. And she was into casseroles and stuff. We used to run down to Ed's Diner, you know, and get like the blue plate special. My mother was not a great cook at all. My father was a chef. Oh, so, he was? Yeah, so during the holidays when he was home, he used to do Thanksgiving and Christmas. Oh, it was great. Yeah. But my mom had telephoneitis. She'd get on the phone and forget about it all. <laughs> and that's when you were stuck to the phone when you're on the phone. Yeah, but see, I picked this up at like an early age. I remember doing my first egg at like seven or eight years Did ago. Did you really? Yeah, and then I like oatmeal with like olive oil. There was like certain things that were just easy to make back when we were kids. It was easier to do it yourself than, you know, having mom or dad do it. Well, you obviously had a gift too. Got to eat. That's the gift. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna turn your oven on. Okay, two. Turn it on, say 450. Okay. And you have a roast, or just? Bake? I do bro uh, um, bake is what I did. What would bake. you? Okay. Please. Okay. Uh, it's important. You got racks here. The racks have levels for a reason. So I'm gonna go up on the second to the highest. And I'm big on timing. Okay. So How let's much? throw it in there for, let's say, 18 minutes. 18? Yeah. Okay. 18. How'd you get 18? Because 18 works. Okay. You try 20 and you try 15. You go 20 <laughs> if you want. I don't care. No, I'm good. See how the sauce is doing? That looks good. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how good it is when it gets done. A little more chicken broth. See, we don't use water because there's no flavor. Yeah, that's that's a great tip. What do you use it for? It was in your refrigerator. I know. I'm trying to think what I made. Oh, a good chicken and rice. My annual. Yeah. When I really cook. <laughs> use chicken broth in just about anything. Yeah. That's and if you get the stuff that's already reduced, you know, it's like a paste, uh -huh. that's yeah. like even more flavor. Okay. They got this stuff called Better Than Broth. Yes, I have. 
comes in a glass yes. though, but it's just great to use in anything. Okay. Throw it in tuna fish salads, yeah. you know, just a little because it's concentrated. Right. But that's that flavor. You ever use, let's say, Grand Marnier's or Sherry's in your cooking? I don't. It takes it to a whole different level. Yeah. You never do bisques? You never do chowders? I don't. You don't? Yeah, I'm, I'm telling just, you, stopped at the right house. No, well, yeah, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, because you got kids, and right? All this stuff is because it's festive around here. I mean, right. you got a beautiful home, okay. and that's how you get your kids to the table. Right. You learn them with food, and you tell them, put your phones over there. I got 15 minutes with you. Right. Yeah. That's the rule. So let's get this fish on there. Okay. All right. So we got the pan nice and hot. Okay. I put olive oil spices on here. Olive oil face down. One at a time. Sorry, I'm smoking the house off. No worries. Absolutely worth it. You got a spatula? Okay. I mean, really smoking the house out. You got, is this bent out? Yeah, that does. It does. Just turn it on. Bam. It goes outside? I don't know, I don't no, know where it goes. And that's all low. Should I open this? Yeah. All right, do you have another pan that I could stick into the oven? Let me see what you got. Like that? Yep. Or, a, or like a cookie pan? No, nah, this is probably okay. just as good. Or an iron bite. Yep. So here's a simple recipe. Just take your asparagus, cut the edge off. Line these up as best as you can. Because there's really nothing you can do with these ends. Yeah. I love asparagus. It's great stuff. Gives you blonde hair. Is that Blue what it is? That's what you have, right? <laughs> In the pan, a little olive oil. You like spicy? Mm -hmm. My husband loves spicy. A little butter. Kids like carrots, right? Yep. They're pretty good. Oh, well, you raised them right. And the peppers. A little olive oil. So you notice I'm not seasoning this now because we can season it as soon as it gets out. Okay, I did notice that. So we got that and this. So interesting you do that in the oven instead of stove top. Yeah. That's good. You're going to notice the difference with the taste yeah. because of the cast iron. I never even think to use that pan. Do you have any liquors? Amaretto? Grand Marnier? Oh, Sherry. Good. 
This is perfect. Okay. So a little cream cherry. Okay. You know, as chefs, we make a mess. I know, I love that. You're not making it. Tastes like tomatoes. <laughs> All right, can you turn that pan down? All right, so this piece looks like it's done. Okay. So we have a platter. Turn it on. Yes, please. That is not what I had planned for that thing. No? <laughs> what are we going to do with it? I was going to try to grill it, but it would not be happen. Yummy. All right, so the same routine with this. Face down, we get the olive oil on it. Okay. All right, this fish is done. Let's get this on the plate. This can actually go in there for about two, three minutes. Just wash this pan out. We'll let that sit. Okay. All right, me and Beth have done a great job. We're going to be right back. We'll take these potatoes and the fish out. We'll plate it up, so stay with us. Awesome. The authentic recipes for all of our products are signature to La Morena. The chilies are literally hand-picked for each can. Everything is manufactured in Mexico and imported into the U.S. La Morena is best known for its quality and authentic flavor, giving our users a taste of home. Stock up on flavor with La Morena. Hey guys, I'm back. How'd I do? Fantastic. Great. It's really good. So, Thank you. This is so good, we invited our neighbors to join us. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Thank some you. of you would order at a restaurant, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's awesome. Nice. So can you taste the liqueur in there? Veggies are done properly. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. All right, well listen, you know, I'm glad everybody's happy and, you know, I'll be back sooner or later. Thank you. Great. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you dropping by. Well, thank you. So why don't we do a toast to, uh, to the chef? Toast to, toast to Chris. Woo! Well, thank you. Thank All right. you. All right, guys. Enjoy. Nice meeting you, Dave. You as well. Beth. Thank you so Beautiful much. Moment. It was perfect. Thank you. All right, guys. Until next time. Thank you so right. much. Enjoy. Thanks. Yep. Thank you.